The occurrence rate of preterm delivery reaches about 8%. Most of the babies born with low body weight and prematurely start to live their life with a disadvantage compared to other children. Their condition, due to immaturity, is frequently further altered by other medical problems. Lack of oxygen, a condition called hypoxia, which may be responsible for a baby's premature birth. Például genetikai betegség, a méhlepénynek a szerkezete, a köldögzsinórnak a rendellenességei, a köldögzsinóron például kialakulhat csomó az a magzatoknak a mozgása következtében. In such cases, the fetus is not provided with a sufficient amount of oxygen necessary for the healthy development in the uterus, and preterm birth might occur. And due to the immaturity of the lungs in the case of babies born preterm, they require special care after birth. Babies with hypoxia are usually treated in the newborn intensive care units of the obstetrics wards. A koraszülöttségének megfelelő inkubátorba kerül, és ott történik a megfelelő légzéstámogatás, amennyiben szükséges gépi lélegeztetés, vagy egyéb típusú légzéstámogatás, infúziós kezelés. Despite careful and professional care, nervous system impairment or damage may occur in the case of hypoxic newborn babies. The utilization of stem cells obtained from umbilical cord blood is considered a great opportunity for the treatment of brain injuries resulting from such hypoxic conditions. If you transplant stem cells in the right moment, in the right window of opportunity, that you get a positive effect on the brain development. Dr. Daniel Serbeck, professor at the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University Hospital in Bern. His research area for the past years has focused on stem cell therapy options for hypoxic premature babies. He revealed his findings at the ETERA conference in November, which gathered leading stem cell scientists from all over the world. Professor Tseizel has also been invited to the conference this year, who was fascinated by the presentation of his Swiss colleague. Állatkísérletbe bizonyítani tudták, hogy az így bevett, bevitt őssejtek működnek, és hogy tulajdonképpen ezt az agykárosodást, amit ők a patkányban mesterségesen váltottak ki, ki tudták védeni, hogy most, most kérvényezik azt, hogy majd embernél is elkezdjék. According to Professor Szörvák, stem cells obtained from the umbilical cord are the most suitable for therapy. Research is now in advanced phases. The expert states that not long is needed until this may be applied in cases of central nervous system impairment of premature babies resulting from hypoxia. We need three years at least to have a treatment which you can widely use. Uh, so I think we need some time to await the results of clinical trials. But I think more and more is going to this direction. Physicians are committed to ensure health for these and similar little ones and to minimize the potential damage resulting from preterm birth. In addition to this, it's good to know that the medical community is constantly working on developing new methods which might save lives of more and more babies and contribute to their treatment. Okay.